Hello, nerds and nerdettes and OPB family. Welcome back to the channel where once again you have a guest review on the X-Men animated series Adaptions Omnibus. Man, that's a mouthful. Um, before we dive into the review, I do want to thank OPB for allowing me to review this book on their behalf. But without further ado, we can jump into the details of the book. This does have a cover price of $125. So, of course, we're looking at kind of that standard price that we've been seeing very often from Marvel. And it does have a page count of 1,008 pages. So, a decently sized book for that price tag. Not too bad. It's a very beautiful book, but we'll get into more of those details during the overhead shots. Here we are, OPB family. The X-Men, the animated series, the Adaptions Omnibus. We really have to come up with a shorter name for that, but it is the standard edition cover here. I will leave the DM variant up above. I just felt like this was more focused on the X-Men team, while the other one was a little more focused on Wolverine, but this is not a Wolverine book, so I wanted everyone on the front. Of course, taking a quick look at the spine, my boy Cyclops on the spine, which I love to see. And then on the back, we do have X-Men that defend a generation, I guess, paying homage to that this was every 90, 90s kid's dream back in the day. But without further ado, let's dive in, take a look at the art, and talk a little bit about the reading experience. And just like magic, we are under the dust jacket, taking a quick look at the inner flaps. We do have the Saturday Morning Greatest Her Heroes and the Creators. A decent amount of creators on this book, including the ones that did write the TV show. Um, obviously, everything in this comic or this omnibus was directly inspired by that. But getting right into the book, not much to show off on the board because it's just the same symbol, but one has the title on the other side. Taking a quick look at the creators, the writer is Ralph Macchio. And then you do have the creators of the show that, or the writers of the storylines in the show that everything in this omnibus was inspired by or adapted by. And then, of course, you do have multiple pencilers. You're not going to be looking at any groundbreaking art. A lot of them do feel a little bit like Jim Lee clones, at least in this omnibus. But that does kind of serve the purpose. But getting right into the first issue, of course, we have X-Men Adventures, the first issue of the omnibus. And then we dive right in. So obviously, this is the adaptions or the comic book adaption of the cartoon so you are going to be getting quite literally the same storylines the same arcs the same really every single aspect that is kind of explored in the tv show but in a comic book format so if a comic book format is your more preferred format this is definitely a great way to go to experience that somewhat dated cartoon now um, but if you have watched the tv show I still do not think you should pass on this omnibus. I am a huge fan of the TV show, watched it multiple times, including somewhat recently in my older years or my young adult years. And I still very much enjoyed this omnibus. I think it was so much fun. It definitely feels almost exactly like the comic book, brings back so much nostalgia. And really, in the collector's kind of world that we are in, collecting omnibuses, really nostalgia is what somewhat makes the world go round. A lot of us collecting books that we've already read or books that we've previously collected, but in a more beautiful premiere format, which is the omnibus. And that's exactly what this is. This is nostalgia in an omnibus format, and I am here for it. I enjoyed every aspect. The writing is identical to the TV show. Other than certain aspects, I will admit, do feel a little bit more mature. Some of the fights and scenarios, even some dream sequences involving Morph, which I know near mint condition Omar has touched on before, is a little bit more violent. But overall, I do feel like it is a direct adaption. It does not stray too much from the original source material but it is a whole lot of fun. Pertaining to the art, you are going to have really two major artists that are going to be popping up. Both feel very similar to one another, both having a very similar 
style to Jim Lee, somewhat a Jim Lee clone, which most pencilers back in the 90s kind of were anyway, but that definitely is par for the course here due to the show obviously being inspired by the Chris Claremont and Jim Lee run on X-Men, and then obviously the comic book that we are looking at today being then inspired and adapted by or from the show that was adapted by Jim Lee and Chris Claremont. That sounded way more confusing than it should have. Um, pretty much, you're getting Jim Lee clone art. It's great. It's not as good as Jim Lee, no, but it's still perfectly fitting for the story at hand. It is an absolute blast. If you're a fan of the show, this is an omnibus you should definitely get. I don't think, unless you are watching the show simultaneously with the omnibus, I don't think anything about the show, anything really that's explored through these pages are going to ruin your reading experience. All in all, it is a somewhat encapsulation of multiple X-Men stories, such as kind of the Age of Apocalypse style of story or the Apocalypse storyline, the Dark Phoenix storyline. You have a lot of Wolverine and Sabretooth goodness taking place. And this is coming from someone that has admittedly thought about passing on this omnibus until now after reading it i cannot believe that i even had those thoughts at one point because of how much fun i had actually reading this entire book and actually really enjoying myself thoroughly i don't think it is anything highbrow it's not something thought-provoking and it's not a standard x-men story that you're going to come out maybe with a different thought process or view on things, but it is still a whole lot of fun. It is an X-Men book and it does focus on multiple members of the team. It's not a Wolverine book in hiding where he is the main character that gets focused on. All of them have their time to shine and I absolutely love it. Obviously it being an omnibus, we do have some extras such as um, covers and the likes and as well as pencils but I don't want to give away too much of that for my friends that do like extras but that does wrap up the overhead portion of the video so we'll wrap back to the table and welcome back so this is a very very new reader friendly book I cannot recommend this enough to not only new readers that kind of want to get a good grip on the characters that are in the x-men without diving deep into their very historical run in comics but also for fans of the animated series because this is as the title gives away a direct adaption of that show in general so if you were a fan of the show you of course are going to absolutely love the comic book the only real difference that is noteworthy enough to mention is that it is a little bit more adult feeling um, not too much where you're going to be seeing a lot of violence blood gore anything like that but it does feel more targeted towards older readers, while the cartoon obviously was for children. Um, but all those storylines are pretty much included in comic book format. And obviously the show is somewhat a direct representation of the Chris Claremont and Jim Lee run. So you do have a lot of stories that are resembled from that run included in the show and therefore included in the omnibus. The art is immaculate. That's probably the largest highlight for the book itself you have very much 90s inspired art and designs on the character paneling even some of the dialogue but you're not going to have a lot of highbrow writing in this book it is very much like the cartoon here's the bad guy this is your team of good guys they fight the end book continues but it is a lot of fun it's definitely for new readers and fans of the animated series so if you are either of those two things then definitely check out this book but that does wrap up today's guest review thank you nerds and opv family for checking out today's video i hope you guys liked it comment down below if you guys picked up this book or are planning on picking up this book or just comment down below if you want to talk about the animated series or this book in general because it's definitely up my alley and i'd love to have a conversation with you guys but other than that thank you for watching once again and of course stay nerdy